Hey, this is Class Creatives, and in this video, we'll go over the process on how to use Unreal Engine's new MetaHuman creator that they introduced in 5.6. They have streamlined the process and made the workflow a lot easier without the need for Quixel Bridge. They also have removed the need to create your MetaHuman on the web based app, and it's all now done locally right inside Unreal Engine, making it much more intuitive and convenient. They also have created full support for MetaHumans in Maya, so you can send your MetaHuman right to Maya for animation. One step that is still missing is the ability to animate the body in Maya with your MetaHuman face rig. So we'll be covering some options on how you can use Advanced Skeleton as an option to quickly and easily rig the body with your MetaHuman rig controllers. We'll also talk about a new workflow that we discovered using a new rigging tool that we have been collaborating directly with the creator. And we feel that this can be a great free alternative that does not require a paid license for your indie game or project that Advanced Skeleton requires. The first step to setting up your MetaHuman with the new Maya workflow is to open up the Unreal Fab Store in your browser and add the MetaHuman for Maya to your library. From the Fab Library section of the Epic Games Launcher, install MetaHuman for Maya to Unreal Engine 5.6. Click on the Launch drop-down options and click on the MetaHuman Creator Core Data. Click the Apply button. Inside Unreal Engine, be sure that you have all of the MetaHuman plugins checked, and you'll need to restart Unreal Engine. Next, use the Window File Explorer to navigate to your content folder where you've saved your MetaHuman for Maya 5.6. Then run the MetaHuman for Maya installer to complete the installation process. If you want additional information, you'll want to refer to the documentation. Once the installation is complete, open your plugin manager and be sure to load the MetaHuman for Maya plugin. This will create a MetaHuman menu in Maya. Next, we'll need to export our MetaHuman from Unreal Engine to populate a character in the Character Assembler GUI for Maya. Inside Unreal, click on Add MetaHuman. Double click on the generated file to open up the MetaHuman Character Creator. Here you can choose the character you'd like to build. For now, we'll go with the preset. You can also customize the body to your liking as well as some other details. Once you're happy with your creation, click on Assembly. Here you can auto-rig your character, which is necessary to send it to Maya. Once that finishes, you will want to download your texture source. In the Assembly section, you can assemble the complete character for your project by clicking the Assemble button. Once that finishes, we'll select in the Assembly dropdown the option for DCC export. And we can choose where to save this folder or zip. Then click on the Assemble button. Keep in mind you'll need to have it unzipped for it to load inside Maya. To assemble the MetaHuman, open Maya and then create or open a scene. From the MetaHuman menu, open the Character Assembler tool. Set the MetaHuman's directory. This should be the folder that contains the MetaHuman characters exported from Unreal Engine. Once set, the main panel will refresh to show each MetaHuman available for assembly. You can then click on the character's tile. Click on the Assemble button. You can configure the import settings to import the head, body, textures, and scene orientation. The filter can be used to easily identify the character if the selected directory contains a number of characters. Now we can see that everything is working correctly. In order to rig the MetaHuman's body with Advanced Skeleton, we can follow the same steps we covered in our previous video about rigging the Unreal Mannequins and MetaHumans. We'll also go over the steps now just in case you wanted a refresher. Launch the Advanced Skeleton GUI. Click on the Name Matcher tool. Under Templates, browse in the drop-down menu to Unreal 5. Click on Create Place Fit Skeleton. Click on Build Advanced Skeleton. Once you see the controllers populate, click on Constrain to Joints. Now we can see that everything is working correctly, and we can move the body of the MetaHuman as we like. We've been on the lookout for new rigging tools that are user-friendly like Advanced Skeleton and that are free to use with a paid license like MGear that do not require as much technical knowledge to rig your custom characters for Unreal. We've been working directly with the creator of the Nowake Rig Tools to develop some of the features that Advanced Skeleton and MGear excel at and the ability for us to take requests from users on features they'd like to see in a completely free auto-rigging tool. The developer of the Nowake Rig Tools is industry veteran Hidetaka Yosumi. 
and he worked at large studios such as Disney, Square Enix, Netflix The Witness, working directly with Alberto Miego, Micros Image, and many other large animation production studios as a character supervisor and tech artist. He's currently updating the tools with some of the workflows we have been covering over the years, and we are excited to give you some insights on the progress we have been making together. Currently the tool is set up to rig for the UE4 and UE5 mannequins with a selectable template, and he will be supporting metahumans and additional animation workflows that advance skeleton and M-Gear feature very soon. Overall, the new updates to MetaHuman Creator with additional support for Maya have improved significantly. It's a really great workflow to create a MetaHuman character in Unreal and send it to Maya for animation or to clean up captures that you do with the Live Link Face app. Unreal is really pushing the capabilities with their body motion capture, and it's amazing to see how you can get such accurate captures of the face and body. We hope the workflows of using Advanced Skeleton to rig the body in Maya are useful for your projects. And we'll be continuing to work closely with the creator of the Nowake rigging tools for a user-friendly free option to auto-rig your characters for Maya and Unreal without the need to pay for a license. This close partnership allows us to get direct feedback from you and your project needs so we can relay it directly to the creator to help customize and add features to the tools. So be sure to let us know your thoughts on the Nowake rig tool and how you are using it in your workflow. Are you utilizing the new MetaHuman Creator along with Advanced Skeleton or the Nowake Rig tools for your Unreal projects? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Perfect!